Alrighty, guys, it is Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Gardendale Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Fray Horatio. I hope I... Horatio? Horn dog? Whatever. Anyway, okay. Freddie went ahead and he uh, purchased a, a console off the website from us. And well, Freddie, period is, man. She's all done. Okay? You watch me build it on Facebook piece by piece, solder joint by solder joint. Okay? And then some freaking moron says... Well, who cares? Am I going, well, the guy who bought this, that's who cares. That's the reason why I do these on Facebook. So that way people can see exactly what is inside of them and how it's done down to every solder point. So that should answer that moron's question. Anyway, um, I love these people, man. They come out of the woodwork. It's hilarious. Like, I, mean, I can sit back and laugh and then block them. <laughs> anyway, uh, needless to say, Freddie. She's all done, man. Okay, here she is. She's all done. We're going to boot it up right now. You saw the boot time on it, man. It's very fast. All right, now, wait a minute. I got to... Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Can you see? Can you see? Good. Okay, now. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. I need a controller. Where the heck is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, so anyway, we're booting up into FSD Dash. and get some notifications from the server, letting us know it's online and live and all that other happy nonsense. There you are, you are the GTA 5 The Purge Epilogue Edition, the final edition before 4.0. Thank God. <laughs> kidding, Stalia. Just kidding, brother. <laughs> All right, now, anyway, okay, you're up on Alliance servers. Let's walk through this, shall we? Okay, emulators, okay? You've got three of them. You've got Genesis Plus 360, SNES 360, and MAME. There's all kinds of ROMs on there for... Every, like, arcade game out there, it's a blast, man. So if you're into retro, there you go. Now, Xbox Classic Games. This has the updated um, emulator on it. So it runs all of these titles with no problem, okay? And uh, I know that you're a GTA 5, like, crazy head. So uh, we got uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto 3, Halo 2, the original Halo, and there you go. All right? Now, homebrew section where your tools reside, all right? Dash launch. XM360, XCX Menu, Xbox 360, Dashboard, Voice Changer 360, Simple Man Flasher, FX Menu, Flash 360, and Back to Dash Launch. Xbox Live Arcade, a mind-boggling amount of arcade games, including Trailer Park King. Right up your alley, Freddy. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> and then, of course, we have our Xbox 360 games. No, I'm not. Anyway, um, okay, let's roll through this, shall we? We have Advanced Warfare, uh, Tomb Raider, Super Street Fighter 4, Splinter Cell, Saints Row the Third, Red Dead Redemption, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Hitman, Halo CE, Halo 3, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto 5, Gears of War Judgment, Gears of War 3, Gears of War 2, Gears of War, Fear 2, Defiance, Call of Duty World of War, Black Ops 3, Ghost, Black Ops 2, Black Ops, Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty 2, Bullet Storm Epic Edition, Borderlands the Pre-Sequel, Borderlands 2, Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 4, and back to Advanced Warfare. Now, to get to the original dashboard, go to the homebrew section right here. Go to Xbox 360 dashboard, mash the A button, mash it one more time. That will take you to the original dash, as you can see. Hello again, Freddy Horatio. You're on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live. You're on dashboard 17559. You currently have 30 reserved days left. Got it good? Okay. And we will bypass the sign-in. And as you can see, you're up here online. You're alive. Our beautiful eyeball-pleasing HUD. In our fifth tab, our ghost sheets and Modern Warfare 3 sheets. And then, of course, to get back to the dash, just mash the A button at Xbox Home. That will take you back. Now... Freddy, me boy. All right. Now, you bought a console from me once before, okay? Or you did a send him with me. Yeah, I think you did a send him with me. All right. So, anyway, you bought this thing now. Look, it's the same way that you do that, that you did your sending console, okay? All you got to do, bro, all right, before you power it on, just open the hard drive door, slide the hard drive out, plop it right up there, plug it in, power it on. You'll come to the Xbox Blackboard screen, slide to the right, go to System, go to Settings, go to Network Settings. You'll see your Wi-Fi adaption point pop up. Click on it. Put your password in. And then it's going to check mark off LAN. It's going to fail on Internet. It's going to fail on Xbox Live. When it completely fails, shut the system down. Grab hold of the hard drive. Slip it back in. Okay, take your drive door, put it on. Pull the power cord, let it sit. About three to five minutes or so, all right? And I want you to let it sit for about three to five minutes and clear out the DNS and all that other crap that's in the south bridge there. All right, then what you're going to do, you're going to plug it back in. You're going to power it on. You're going to be good to go. So, Freddie, listen, brother, thank you for your repeated business. I greatly appreciate it, man. We're shipping it off tomorrow. Rain, we'll have a tracking number for you by tomorrow evening. Thanks. Thank God she's back. <laughs> 
Her surgery went well. Her rotator cuff is rotating. So everything is good now. Okay. So anyway, listen, bro. We'll ship it off tomorrow. Thank you so much for your business, man. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year and all that other crap. And I'm glad the fat man is on out of here for another year. Thank God. Anyway, have a good one, guys. Holler at you later.